Hey, it's Chana. I need your help. A group of the survivors that followed us out to the caravel, they've gone missing. I think we owe it to them to try and make sure they're okay. So when I show my gear, I already took Ultimate Storm Whip off and put Slashing Twister onto my primary after this expedition because I realized it's better for when I'm switching weapons on shooting people since it lasts a longer time. It also heals me from the weapon leech too, so it stacks with death chains for healing. And best of all, it just uh, adds to the blue. I already have Storm Whip on my other gun now, so it already adds to the blueness and the Thor look I'm going for, the electrical look when I'm just using both of them on someone. Um, but yeah, I actually found Nicola's Revenge with Storm Whip and then put Strings of Goss on it, so I have like the ultimate lightning gun already on this dude. Um, I'm waiting, my, when you look at my armor, I'm really just waiting to unlock aggressive teleportation. I still haven't yet. I'm waiting to get it on this dude. Of course, I could always transfer his gear and slap it on, but I'm trying to experience it as a new player still, so I'm, I'm, I'm grinding again, so I'm waiting. And I need a chrono suit mask to drop, and it still hasn't. So until then, I realized the best thing I could use is actually hunt the prey over aggressive tele over borrowed time because it gives me shield too. Also, I already have unforeseen forces, one of the skill nodes on this dude. And if you don't know, I've already said it multiple times, but unforeseen forces skill node boosts all your damage when the enemy's backs is turned. So even though I'm not gun build, it still helps me. So yeah, I think hunt the prey is good to use until I get aggressive teleportation.